your daily hour with me. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> I am not the queen. Uh, I am falsetto. <laughs> it's the program. We're on TV once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines, then we start talking for an hour. Yes, one solid <laughs> hour. 60 minutes, and we're here again on the couch. And it's Monday. You know, on other days, I always say, it's, oh, I got to look over here. <laughs> what day is it? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, due to the uh, due to the reason that I'm here Mondays uh, frequently, I don't think I've missed a Monday in a long time. I think it's been over a year. Oh, that good. I missed a Monday. Uh, I think I missed a Monday. You went to Canada. Yeah. Last time you went. But it wasn't this summer. It's summer before. So, so it's, it's been, been hey, years. Over a year, year and a half. We've been doing this. Every uh, week for a year and a half, and Bob been here every day though. But yeah, four four and a half years now. So you, I mean, even if you counted all the your episodes, and people are like you have a lot of shows, but you have a lot of shows too. Really, I mean, so does Carl, of course. But no. you have seven times as many. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> seven times as many. Well, I figure, okay, fifty-two weeks in a year. The shows I've done is just a drop in the bucket. 52 weeks in a year. Okay. That's so that's 52 years. Mondays. Yeah. 52 Mondays. 200. And 2, 4, 6, 8. 208. Uh, well 208 it's, it's shows? It's more than that now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's more than that. I always like to do the, the day math or the week math. So if it's like, I say 20, about 20, you know, I, I put 25 hours in a day just for the math. And then so 25 hours, and then about 200, and that's four. It's eight. I I wonder if there's a way days. of figuring it out. I would love to do some something special on my 222nd episode. That bring I want. A, bring uh, a slide it'd be hard to figure out. Bring a slide calculator or a slide rule. Are there? <laughs> I do not know how to operate a slide rule. I understand how they work. What is this like? A, you can understand how a car works, but can you drive one? Nope. I don't even know what a slide rule is. Oh, it was a way of doing math. You had a. This is old timey stuff that yeah, you yeah. guys know about because you're older than me and that. Yeah, so before calculators. They stopped doing. <laughs> you remember a time before calculators? Oh, yeah. Carl, do you? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> the first calculator I saw was this big, huge, bulky thing. It was like as big as cell phones were when they first started making them. Mm-hmm. Uh, a big, huge, bulky thing, and it had a red LED display that had, I think, nine or eleven characters or something like that slots, and it did uh, the basic functions: uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And I think it had a, r- a root function. Wow. Or something, and yeah, and it was seventy bucks. This oh, <laughs> now they're, they're yeah, my a brother, nickel. Yeah, my brother was going to university and he needed a calculator. And wow. So he spent 70 bucks and we're all like, oh. And that's, oh. that's $70 in the 70s? Mm-hmm. Or yeah. was that 60s or 70s? 70s? Yeah, it's probably closer to 200 in value that he spent. You know, Damn. it was it was that kind of huge amount of money back then. Of course, I was a kid, but <clears throat> I think it was like 9, 10, 11, something like that, 12. That's wait, what the wait, wait. He was eight years older than me, so he was 18. I would have been 10. <coughs> 20, I would have been 12. So, yeah, somewhere around there. I yeah. started public education around, you know, maybe 1980. Yeah. M- maybe 1981. So, um, when was uh, slide calculators kind of phased out What's this uh, with the calculator in the 70s well, I mean, oh 70s is yeah. that a, are you yeah. talking about abacus no 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 a slide rule uh it, it's uh two pieces of wood or metal and they have all kinds of different notches on this side and that side right and there's another piece of wood or metal in the center that you slide back and forth okay so it's like it's like yeah, two things and a thing you slide back and forth. And there's a whole bunch of numbers on this side and a whole bunch of different numbers on that side. And and uh, there's like logarithms and stuff. And so you can do multiplications and there's 
uh, doubles and triples, and I think there's a root function. And you can take that the the metal piece, I think, and flip it around, and you have different different little notches or different little numbers and letters, and you can do different kinds of calculations. Uh, I think you can do uh, trigonometry on them. You can do um, uh, 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 pre-calculus on them. Like uh, wow. different stuff, but yeah, yeah. Did they have like a real <coughs> narrow window that you would slide back and forth and uh, whatever, like two, it would calculate, you know, the power of two or, or whatever, the power of three? I think so. I think so. And what you do is you would start out at some zero, what it, wherever a zero was on the on right. some section of the sliding part of the slide rule, and you would set that there, and that would be your first calculation. And you would you would move up here, and then you'd move down there, and you'd move up, and that was your answer, something like that. Damn. Yeah, yeah. There, uh, my dad had one, and he showed me, and he showed me how it worked once. So that was my introduction. So pop pocket calculators became standard around 1970. <laughs> they were too big for your pocket when they first came out. Oh. And the amazing thing, the technology to make them rapidly improved. Uh, the size went down, uh, the size of the little diode display, because back then you took, uh, to make one character, you needed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven right mm -hmm. to, to form a square eight yeah oh yes right? so there are yes. seven there are seven pieces and so they had to arrange the seven diodes uh yeah. in a certain way and when it was supposed to d display a seven only certain ones of those and it used a integrated circuit and and every year the size of the circuit increased in capacity and ability and shrunk in size by a half. And so calculators rapidly got smaller and they got more complex. And then my other brother, uh, he, uh, he was a little younger. It was uh, three or four years later, five years later, and he got a scientific calculator. And it yeah. was pretty big and bulky. It was near the same size, but instead of 11 possible digits, it had like 15. Something like that, so you could have a huge row of numbers. You could have point zero 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 nine two, something like that. I have two questions. One of which, and you could do logarithms. And yeah, well, one of which is like power supplies. Sometimes I keep on losing my power supply. Did do you, you know? The, do you the calculator? Yeah. No, well, right. Uh, for these calculators that maybe they were, were plug in, they were battery powered, right? Were they? Yeah. Or is that your quote? <laughs> yeah, the reason they were big, they took C-sized batteries. Oh, man. <laughs> but you had a, you have a, ba a, a calculator that plugs into the wall, Carl? Well, what are you th losing your... There may have been a wall plug with an adapter. I don't know. I don't know. I don't but remember. There okay. may have been. Well, and the, the other question is, is it like Ohm's Law or whatever? Like, you're, you're the... Um, the... The... Processor size or, you know, capacity or whatever the chip shrinks. Moore's Law. Moore's Law. Is that actually months. true? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's that? What's Moore's, Moore's Law? What's Moore's Law, Carl? I never heard of that. Uh, it's like uh, the, your chip, like, increases in capacity or spot size or the size shrinks or, I don't know. Dan can explain no, it You better. explain it. <laughs> Well, I know, you you seem to well, know. I, I just explained it basically, but he's he's basically correct. What uh, it's a Moore's <laughs> law. You didn't even say anything. You said that the side like. Okay, okay. <laughs> like I described in the calculator, the capacity to do work, the the complexity, the power essentially, uh, would double in capacity, and the size itself, the physical size, would shrink in half. And Moore's law said every 18 months, uh, computer computing power of chips and circuits and and all that stuff double. But that doesn't is make sense because we don't have implants now. I mean that are you know is that can still get happening on, on the market? Actually, actually, yeah, we have the technology to do implants to enhance things. Well, down uh, at the drugstore, they're pretty. Oh no, that that'll take another 10 or 20 years. Maybe, maybe less. But what? Hopefully. Uh, uh, I don't know. This dude, you want implants? 
this dude more. Yeah. Made I don't this, want those implants. Made well, this, to accessorize one's life. Come on. Keep your devices <laughs> out, outside of your body. Oh, I would love enhanced Future. vision. Are you kidding? Enhanced vision. I could see ultraviolet, infrared. Maybe, or maybe you're seeing some kind of crazy government program. So <laughs> keep that <laughs> those stuff out of your head. <laughs> I want to be a six million dollar man. Yeah. All right. Maybe. But then you gotta fight people, right? And then they f- <laughs> for the government. Well, like, I'm always fighting myself, so that's not much of an improvement. I say, if you want to fight, join the army. Well, if the six million dollar man, like he, like once he got all that stuff, he had to do the they, government's bidding forever, right? Yeah, yeah, he did all kind. Of, well, yeah, and he eventually fought aliens and stuff. The the series got kind of goofy after a while. It just kind of they didn't have new bad guys for him to get. More scripts. Here we go. Let's play the dice game. Okay. Carl's going to get his uh, thing. Oh, yeah. Dan's going to try to use his self and use his own. I'm using... I'm trying to use... Uh, what is it called? Uh, mm, seeing the future. Uh, pre- precognitive... Uh, Carl's wrong. Same. Okay. I'm trying to get pre precognitive. Or Dan's trying to get a, or not pre yeah, pre Dan Dan's trying to get telekinesis here. I think Carl's is trying to use luck or something, right? Carl, are you trying to use precognivity too? Six, I lost. <laughs> is three on the opposite side of six? Uh, no, it's one. Oh, okay. Dice add up to seven. Okay, well, the sides, my yeah. Telekinetic. Oh. Power. <laughs> You crossed out a four. You knew what the dice was going to be. Um, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's, let's figure this one out. No, it's a one. It's a, it's a one. one. Yeah, I knew yeah, it was a one. Right. I said it. It's a uh, seven. Each side is seven. That's going to fall. It's sitting on the pin. There you go. That'll it, work. Did you know? Yeah, each side. If you look at the thing. So it's like... Each one, side so what's seven. the opposite one of six, three? Three. Uh, four. Five? Four. Three, no. four, seven. Yeah, four. Wait, wait. Grab one and look. No, it's four. Is someone banging on the door downstairs? Uh, no. I don't think so. Can you hear that? I hear that, but I don't know what it is. So, four is on the... Un- oh, okay. Three and so, four what I need seven. to do with my telekinetic uh, machinations, I need to get the four to be on the bottom. I need yeah. To yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You instead of getting the three up, concentrate on four down. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I figure, yeah, l- d- help gravity do its work for well, me. That's what number I have today. Make gravity work for me. You have number four. I have a four, so you're going to actively try to slam me down. And yeah. See, <laughs> try to win the... <laughs> Each two gonna opposite... going to slam your dice side down. Like a motherfucker. Each two opposite sides of the dice have to add up to seven, so... Well, they don't have to. They do. Oh, uh, well, th- I, yeah. I thought it was just a rule like Ohm's Law. Or um, you could make. Newton's I mean, if you wanted to, you could do it a different <laughs> way. That'd be weird. Or um, it would be non-standard. Of yeah. Oh, that'd be fun though. Maybe we. Maybe I should uh, get some non-standard dice and like sand these dice down and get some our own dice. Like non-standard. Uh, get, you could get nope. an eight-sided dice. You could get a uh, four-sided dice. Oh you yeah. You could get uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Dice. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve-sided dice. Well, I think yeah, yeah, they go. Dice. They go. I'm just four, gonna. Uh, six. I'm just gonna. Eight. Get the colors off of these dice, and then. Ten. Write, write one. Twelve, and then twenty. They don't have a sixteen or. One and six. Dice. I think that would. Right be next lame. to each other. Yeah. 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 Well, Dan, how was your week? Did you see anything on the streets in the last week? Oh, a lot of squirrels. Oh, I saw the weirdest bug. Yeah. I don't know what kind of bug. It might have been a larva or something. It was about this long, as long as your finger, maybe. A little less longer than your finger. I may, uh, mean, like my pinky, mm-hmm. about that long. And it was a caterpillar, I think. But it didn't have any fuzz or hair. And it was and it was kind of blondish in color. It was light tan. And it was just crawling <coughs> along the cement really slowly. Now, granted, it's cold, right? And bugs don't move very fast in the cold. Uh, but it it was uh, uh, it was moving along. I'd never seen a caterpillar like that at all. It looked like a 
I don't know, a, a white worm with some legs and stuff. You know, you have the immediate urge to, and stuff. to squish it, right? Uh, squish. But uh, Maybe not me. It wasn't hurt me, and it was leaving the building, so I figured, okay. It was white? Good. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, light brown, lighter than no. the peanut. Ooh. The peanuts. Yeah. Uh, was it in six legs thing? Uh, Wings? It had, it had some... It, it, uh, part of the reason it, it seemed so weird is because I couldn't see legs crawling along like you do a caterpillar. It didn't inch along. It was almost moving like a slug, real slowly. And so I couldn't see any legs, and it's moving along faster than a slug. It didn't look like a slug. It looked like a caterpillar without hair. Ooh, a weird worm. Something. Something. That's I'd freaky. Yeah. Was it a? <laughs> yeah. It wasn't like a, you, you a maggot. Grabbed it and. If it was a maggot, it was a monster maggot. It, it, maggot. It was a maggot on steroids. Mm. Uh, uh, you should have grabbed it. A naturally large maggot. Put it in, into a lab for testing. So that you would have known. Known. Oh, well, it. there's no but labs. Take a close picture. By. What is it? Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I should take a picture. Oh. Uh, my phone camera sucks ass. Yeah, it's not very good at all. It's a lousy camera. I'm probably going to be upgrading to a new phone this year. I've had this fancy one for well, four good luck on that. You're going to get a fancy one? Oh, probably an Android. Probably. Well, my my phone thing is like upgrade, upgrade. You can upgrade. Here's here's all kinds of deals to upgrade, and it's uh, you buy the phone and then you just buy minutes. Yeah. So it's the same sort of a deal. I think it's not as good of a deal because right now for forty bucks, uh, I get six hundred minutes a month. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I rarely use it up. Sometimes I get close. Well, way back when uh, CenturyLink had uh, had a deal, you, you know, using the internet for like a flat rate for uh, five years. Now they've gone to flat rate for a full year, you know, or probably a flat rate for six months or whatever. Well, I'm going to look to at other arrangements. I really don't want to pay more than 20 bucks a month for a phone. No, yeah. a, uh, we got a, some message or a message anyway. Let's listen to this message. Hey, program, it's Freddie the producer. Just hey, wanted Freddy. to say thanks. I received the four uh, tapes that you dropped off in the Dropbox. Oh, and good. I captured them, and I'm currently exporting four new episodes to the program. So the system is working. The production is going good. Call me back for more information about that. Uh, also, some other news about um, the uh, January 9th special that we're going to be doing uh, the first Friday thing in the studio. Um, uh, we have maybe figured out which band it's going to be. It's going to be band, I think it's going to be this band called Witchmaker or something like that. And, Sounds um, metal. The DJ is, I think, the Corn Cob DJ, and then um, if, if everything's still going the way we were planning, we got the potluck at 6-7. So, yeah. Um, yeah, thanks. Call me back. Bye. The, uh, Potluck? The the monthly TCTV event this month is the potluck, or I want to think of a better name for it. We're having a potluck. At, at um yeah on the when we go to TCTV on the instead of the first Friday of January it's gonna be the second Friday. It's a luck of pots. Oh. Um no I think it's a Native American term. Actually, or pot latch. Pot latch. I think it, it used to be pot latch, and they, I don't know why they changed so much. Pot, a pot latch is very, very different than a potluck. Is it? I thought, but yeah. that's what they're named after. It's named after that, right? Or that was what they tell us because we're in Washington State. I've heard the expression potluck in Canada growing up. Uh, it's been around for a long time. Potch la pot latch, I had not heard of until I moved to Washington. Isn't it in an actual city in Washington State? What, potlatch? potlatch? Might be. Sounds familiar. But if I understand a potlatch, right, and uh, maybe if someone who's listening now knows exactly what a potlatch is, because I don't think I got it fully right, <coughs> but it's where uh, a person or a family invite a whole bunch of friends over, and they give them things. They give them gifts. Hmm. They give them potlatches. Nine. Oh, hey, 
Look at this. It's info time. I cannot read that point. It's all right. You, you don't need to. Oh, and it, and now it's info time. time. If you wish, you don't need to. Here are our answers to some frequently asked questions about the program. Or what you're experiencing it right now. It's called Your Daily Hour with Me. It's a hyper life, hour long call in television talk show that on the radio that's recorded in Thurston County every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, 366 on leap years. YDHWM began on September 19th, 2010. It tapes in the week of the best. We are watching this on TV at 11 30 p.m. or listening on Low Power FM. This episode taped on the same weekday of the previous week. If you're watching this at 2 a.m., this episode taped the same day of the month of the previous year. You could also watch any episode of the program on YouTube.com. Anyone can come on the program, especially you. We rely on the community for content, so give us a call at 360-836-4384 and leave a message. We'll do something. Hi, and now, hello, we're back. Uh, yeah, we like, call that number right there. So that's what I think a potlatch is. Oh, maybe I could be wrong. It's gonna be a cook-off. I think maybe I, I'm thinking this thing instead of a pot potluck. Uh, a potluck is where people show up with some kind of unknown dish, and you just uh, you know. It's not the. Uh, luck. It's not a. It's no. I'm changing the name of it to cook-off. <laughs> okay. okay. Cook-off. So it, cause uh, it's gonna be more about. Uh, cooking, cooking, and kind of winning with your food. You know, I mean, potluck—they're so passive, and f and I mean, it's yeah, you, everyone brings food. It's like, oh, you yeah. share your food, and everybody eats everybody's food, and it's like, oh yeah, okay, there you go. We're doing a cook-off where we bring the food, and then we, you know, we can, we can present. And, and you cook it. Well, you cook the food. Well, you, I think, oh, you can cook the food there at TCTV. I don't think that's no. actually allowed. No. Unless you uh, have some kind of like, preparation. If you, well, if you did it in the cafe area, yeah, you could probably you could probably get away with it. If that. you had some kind of non only non-heating element preparations for cooking in there. Well, you just reheat it in the microwave. There you go. Look well, you yeah, I guess we could have a microwave in there. If you could figure out how to cook in TC, I don't think that should, should be allowed, though. I'm gonna. Well, this people are not allowed to cook in the studio. Yeah. So no. But people cook in the cafe area. No all cooking, the time but with it's still a it's a cook-off where you bring the thing and then you just you're like, this is what I made, and then everybody tries it, and then we're gonna, you know, it's a it's a cook-off. <laughs> See if anybody's gonna do that. Then nobody's gonna do it. That's what always happens on these events. Anyway, we do these events and we call them things. Remember on the science fair? Do you remember the science fair? I think you were a judge. Yeah. You were a judge for the science fair, but we had zero submissions. <laughs> and we talked about it for this months. This is why it's not really coming back to me, really, pal. It's like, yeah, I remember you asking me, and I remember being willing and interested and all that. Well, we had the you science know, fair, and we're like, it's time for the science fair. Like, Who did it? No, Nobody else. Okay. Yeah, no wonder I don't Nobody's remember. To move Nothing on. happened. Yeah. <laughs> so I have a feeling that's what's going to happen with the cook-off. Maybe I'm going to cook something, possibly, or... Uh, <laughs> Carl, you can cook something. We'll, we'll cook, maybe. Oh, no I it's, don't know. It's possible, but we'll see what happens. So normally, uh, uh, second Mondays, or Cup second noodles. Fridays, or uh, uh, usually there's a different producer uh, at that time. The second Fridays. Oh, is there? Yeah, normally. Who is it? Uh, <coughs> uh, Diane usually does her show on the second. Fridays. Oh, really? We'll have to call yeah. Freddie and ask. He may, he may have talked to her already. Maybe yeah, he knows, yeah. yeah. I don't think Let's he's find been out. saying it confidently if he hadn't. Is is she doing it only once a month though, right? Yeah. Oh, once a month. So, so that's the the one, the second. Diane was on on um uh the, that uh Christmas um bash on Saturday. Sa Yo, Santa. Yeah, and uh, Freddie was there too, and they all kind of talked about uh, first Friday being like an off week. Well, we're, down week has happened. Down week. The studio won't be available. So, on the first Friday. So, Cause everyone he may have talked to her to see if she was willing to yeah. do her show on a... You hey, know, you've reached Freddie hey, Dobler. Dobler. I can't come to the phone, phone right, right now. now. If you leave me a nice, nice message, message I'll, I'll get back. back I'll, I'll, I can't. Thanks a lot. Hey, Freddie, it's a program We're calling you. You can call us back. You have about 25, 25 minutes. Oh, there he is anyway. <laughs> Sweet. Hang up. And oh. Hello. Hello? 
Hello, it's uh, Kirsten. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Kirsten. Hi. It's the program. Have... We're on TV. Oh, that's who it is. <laughs> How are you doing? Um, well... How are I'm you? stretching. What? I was stretching. Oh, yeah, that's healthy. It's kind of cold. I was trying to... Because I sat all day today. I didn't even do anything else besides sit. Oh, you're really. stretching. Mm-hmm. What did you think she said? Dressing. Oh, dressing. No, yeah, stretching. It's like it's a good thing I thought to she do. said it's trucking. Cold. Okay, I guess you could be trucking. Stretching. Stret- stretching. What kind of stretching are you doing? Who's there? Dan and Carl. Dan? Da- yeah, and me. Carl? Hey, Kirsten. Yeah, me, Dan. Carl's over right hey, here next but- to me. Dan My name only is Bill. Comes on, oh, it's Monday. It is, yes. That's, that's how you know it's Monday, is because I'm calling you from the program. <laughs> but my name is Bill. I got confused. I didn't okay. know it was Monday until now. Carl says his name is Bill. He's <laughs> making some kind of reference or joke that I don't understand. I get bills on Monday. Um, Is that what the joke is? <laughs> is that the joke? <laughs> no. Um. Okay. Okay. Freddie's looking at. Freddie's d- been producing all day, and and he's doing it right now. Wow! Thanks, Freddie. Right on. <laughs> he's looking at this chart, and it's like really colorful, and it's actually really pretty. But I. But what are you doing? Well, I'm actually putting stuff into the um, radio, the Koa Airtime program right Ooh. now. Ooh, that's exciting. That yeah. I- has have you heard anything from the radio? I I haven't heard uh, anybody mention it. I haven't heard anyone mention it either. But um, we've been getting pretty good at doing it consistently at two a.m. Um, and I think I've even I've checked it on the stream a couple times. Mm-hmm. Um, well, if you're somehow listening to this right now on the radio, you're driving through downtown or you live downtown area of Olympia, Olympia or you're streaming it just uh, send it or so you can send us a text message or just call us and just say radio we won't call you back if you don't want to if that's what you're doing I'm trying to like reach out to there but you know nobody's gonna do that yeah it, no one's gonna do it that very rarely happens it's happened maybe twice ever when somebody's actually responded to things that we've said and I can I think uh, what's his name uh, from gaming Oh, Joe. Who? Joe, Joe, um, Joe, Joe the, from ga- uh, Carl's gamer friend. Once he responded to something, and one time Robin responded to something not too long ago. So only two yeah, times. Yeah, I remember that episode Robin did. That was good. And the other one was Joe. So only two times has anybody ever actually done the things that we ask. I liked the, the uh, game friend Joe was all calling in about. Things not just from the ra- from the radio and the program, but also calling in from um, the actual like uh, oh, the topics. In checking the, oh, the theme. checking the yeah themes on the website. Yeah, it's cool because equally the radio thing. I don't even know if anyone really uses the website the way that I've been like making it work, which is that you know it's got. I'm, I'm basically updating the website for my own purposes i feel like sometimes so I, I will update it in the morning and then pick an episode from last year that looks interesting to watch during mm. while i work on stuff around the house yeah who it's like who who is the who is the viewers who are you viewers and where are you uh speaking that we're i just saying this we're doing the thing uh for the event i'm uh, oh, I, oh 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 yeah um, oh yeah, but what about uh Diane? Diane on the second week. Dan, that's what Dan said. Yeah, because she normally. That's right. Yeah, she normally does her show during that same time on Friday, the second Friday. But that, I mean, there's a lot of Fridays in January. You know, like karaoke only should just do, uh, do it on the fourth. Friday of the month. That's when the and then veterans I will do it on the third Friday of the month, which is really the second Friday. I mean, the second is a Friday, and so then the ninth is a Friday, and then the uh, 
16th is a Friday, and then the 20 whatever is a Friday. So it's like pretty much there's enough Fridays for everyone to get their thing without yeah. having to yeah. do anything because it's probably not even scheduled yet. Okay. There there's there's be, like, cause, it, yeah, oh yeah, there's like the second, which it's down week. So that's like shouldn't count as a first Friday. Then there's the ninth, which is the new first Friday. Then there's the 16th, which is the second Friday, which will be Diane's show, and then the 23rd, which should be Karaoke Oli, and there's even the 30th and the 31st, so it's like we have no... We have more Fridays than usual, so there I think... There are five of them, just, yeah. Alright, well, well, I guess that'll work. That works then. Yeah, every three or four months... See, what do you think about a, that? There's a fifth Friday. I, I like that. Yeah, I think uh, we're going to have to talk to all those other shows, too, or something, though, right? Or I don't know how it works. Well, Okay. Karaoke only hasn't, hasn't filmed for Jan- or December yet, so we can talk to them about just advertising the 23rd, and then I don't think there should be a problem. Well, well, my thought, my thought is too is that the the live events that are scheduled live uh, are less easy to bump than one that is not live. Uh, I think uh, it might be easy enough. Oh, you want uh, to pick a number to see if Diane yeah, would be willing to ha- pick a different day. Well, this is this is CCTV Insider stuff with Dan Freddy. Here we go. What's it, what number you want? Yeah, let's talk about it more later. <laughs> oh, Freddy said six. Yeah. Uh, you got five hundred points. Wow. Yay! I forgot to do my telekinesis, oh, but yeah. I still got a three. Um, <laughs> we're. I decided on a name. I think for the instead of potluck, I want to call it cook off. You're gonna call it what? What? Cook cook off. Cook off. Yeah. That's a good, I, I think that's a good, um, yeah, it almost has an element of competition. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, It has the element of competition, so it's more exciting. You know, I, I thought, you know, I was thinking like potlucks, they're just so, uh, like, uh, it's like um, gluttonous. Tired and already used? Gluttonous. Oh, yeah. Potlucks are so gluttonous. We're doing a cook off. Hey, Freddie, I had a question. Unrelated. Okay. Um, well, I I was kind of curious when uh, my 222nd episode that I've done. Is there an easy way to? Oh, I don't that know. Out? You should you should uh, you should try to figure that out. I think you, you know you just go through on on the Monday. Uh, I, know, I know that you made oh. a playlist and there are something that like was years ago I, though. I haven't been keeping that updated you know that yeah, playlist is from years ago well i could i could just look at the playlist see how many there are in that and then just count every monday since that would be relatively easy okay good I'll, idea i'll do it it's not a complete playlist and uh i think each playlist can only hold 200 at least the last time i checked on youtube so um i don't know i don't know uh, you know maybe Maybe you might have to start keeping some sort of a uh, <laughs> track it down. Yeah. There, if you go onto the Daily R website and go to the About section, there's a link to the like overall spreadsheet that has all the episodes listed in there um, and their links and stuff. So you could just go and track down every Monday and do it that way. Dang. Okay. Well, then you don't even need a, a spare calendar. So we we got uh, the band and DJ. Yeah, it's a uh, witch, witch something, something witch. Are they metal? Um, I don't know. They're our neighbors. Witch maker. The word witch in the band makes me think that it's a metal band, which is just fine. What if it was witch hazel? Which way? Ha ha ha. Me- I still think metal. Uh, it sounds metal, but maybe it's. What do you think they're like? It sounds like a. I've heard them playing in their room before from across the hall, and it seems kind of electronic. Hmm. Yeah. Dark electronic. Maybe Doomy. So Kirsten says Doomy. Ah, uh, Doomy. Nice. Uh, Doomy. It's kind of metal. Trippy. Trippy. All right. Heaven card. <laughs> and uh, and then yeah, so that should be pretty cool. Um, there. Yeah. Which it, they live. Next which door. what's um, it called? Which Hazel? Oh no, you made you made that up. What's experimental? <laughs> what's the what's the band called? Witch, witch something. I, uh, something with a witch in it. Wh- is it? You think it's witch something or something witch? I would hazard witch Hazel, which is an. I like old, 
which I think it's something which like something which which something like, would be a good name for a band anyway. Sand. Which something? S- yeah. Something yeah. which. Um. Okay. Sand. Which sand or sand? Which. And then what we've about got the d- somebody sand? named like Corn Cob who might be the DJ. The sand or that sand? And that's, that's Luke's uh, Luke's Luke, friend. Luke has kind yeah, of gone a, gone over and said right that sand. he could do it. He apparently was interested in doing it before, but didn't um, didn't actually follow through. So hopefully, it follows through. Well, if he has a history of not following through, then maybe that would be maybe we should not have him there. That would be a risky endeavor. <laughs> oh, but see, the thing is, he's already been told that he can do it. But last time he didn't follow through. Oh well, I guess whatever. If maybe Luke could, uh, create a backup. Maybe talk. Maybe we should get his information. We can talk to him on the program about follow through. Well, I, <laughs> I think. It, I think it's a good is. idea. Well, I think if we talk to him on the program, then he would follow through. Otherwise, we would he would know that we're. Well, maybe we should just tell him we're talking about it, DJ Corncob. If you don't follow through, oh yeah, it'll be on TV. <laughs> or we could call him from the program and say, "Hey, we're really excited to see you do a thing at the thing." Yeah. And then you like. Well, we should just talk to him about it. Yeah. He'd be maybe like, that happens in two days. Maybe we'll have to. <laughs> it'd be like, <laughs> that he'd be like, in oh, five days, oh bro. yeah, I better get it. <laughs> I better get on that shit. We'll right talk now. to Luke about it too. It's it'll be a, it'll be an exciting thing. Like, is the DJ gonna have follow through? Yeah. Hmm. Have you got follow through? I'm gonna, gonna make sure we get DJs with follow through. Yeah. That's all. I'm sure it'll work out. I'm I'm really not too worried about it. Yeah, well, I'm not um, I'm not worried about it either. I'm I'm trying. I think I'm kind of uh, how about if like I putting. W- I'm trying to put more worry into it than it needs can, to be there. Kind of just for suspense, maybe. I can worry for you oh, that's guys. A good point. If you Why? like, I could worry on your behalf. Why? Oh, just you know. I'm not worried. I'm offer. just in suspense. <gasps> yeah. It's just, you know, I can just <laughs> offer a little worry on your behalf, just so you know, because I can. I think it's the last day of Hanukkah today. It's a free gift. You know, a uh, Bobby McFerrin uh, song comes to mind. What? Don't worry. What? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Don't it's, worry. It's the last happy. day of Hanukkah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, me worry? Yeah, good. We got to light all the candles up. Get some fire going. Yeah, oh, yeah. We don't have any here. more candles. We only have this. We only have this little candle nub. Maybe we should light it. Can you think it's um, is that dangerous? Well, you you get hot wax on your finger there, Mister. Well, yeah, but if if you put it on in the middle of the table, then you know. Yet, uh, two years ago was an episode with you and Lewis where you guys got tamales from the tamale fusion people, but that was also during the period where um, you had the candle, like the daily hour candle, and you recited the daily hour prayer. Do you want to hear what I? Uh, this is what I. I wrote it down from listening to the episode today, what the Daily Hour Prayer was. Oh, we, we have a Daily Hour Prayer? Yeah, what is it? Yay. <laughs> okay, so are you ready to light a candle? Do you have a candle? Oh, no, we, need, we need a candle. Here, stand up. Get up. Look in the couch for a candle. I think there might be one in there. we gotta, we got to stand up and look look in the couch because we're going to do the Daily Hour Prayer. I don't know, yeah, I, it is a little bit sacrilegious, but I'm okay with that. Oh, there's one. I, I see one. Oh. Okay, this is... This is as best as I could decipher it. So here we go. Ready? Oh, when do we light the candle? Are you going to tell us when to light it? There's some money right there. Oh, uh, yeah. You just light it when I'm done, I think. Or right. while I'm saying you got, it. Do you have a, so, you have a uh, lighter? I spotted okay. a quarter. Do you have a lighter? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. We're here every day. We turn on the machines and start talking and light this candle as a symbol of our daily hours. And as the flame burns through the hour, as we will talk through the day, each day of the program is looking good. And the flame burns as a representation of our forward movement through time. You're gonna I yeah. think I, Amen. it was a little more further. You know, I didn't. It, I think I said it too fast. I could just drawn it out. Ow! <laughs> I burned myself a little bit hot wax. Uh, oh, fire's dangerous. Don't put out. That's the, uh, what, are you going to balance it? I'm not going to stand up. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 I was going to set a fire. <laughs> uh, here, tape, tape it to something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe maybe having a fire in the studio is not a good idea then. Probably well, I like not. the I really like the the daily hour prayer though. How, how long did we How do did the we prayer? Oh, car, don't drop that thing. Just tape it to the table or something. Um, you should. That sounds like. Nine. Oh, hey, it's uh, time for a commercial break. Seven.
Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Now it's time for a commercial break. Yep. Coming up on the next episode of the program. Your daily hour with me. Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's the commercial. We're over here. Yeah. And it's daytime. We just got off the phone with Marcia talking to her um, maybe about 10, we're taking 15 we're minutes. We're changing your name from Elias? Yeah. You don't like the name anymore because it's your name? Oh, uh... What about no, Elias? Uh, she's not, she doesn't want to be no, anonymous anymore. No, read into anything I do. She doesn't want to be anonymous read anymore. read anything into I do, viewers. 11, 32 a.m. TCP Channel 22. Yeah, and TCT, or uh, YDH, WMW. 360, 36, 4384. Yeah. Call the number. Four. Baby. Wow. I, I just think we did one of the best commercials we ever did. That you might have to save that one for uh, like other things. <laughs> <laughs> good. That sounds good. I'm trying to find this this guy's uh, uh, see the, personal the, information the so I can the- call this guy, Alec. Alec Corncrop. Oh, yeah, right so there. he called himself. What? Uh, what? Alec Corncrop. I'm trying to find uh, personal information about this guy. We're not even friends on Facebook yet, but yeah, it's right. Um, kind of looking around here. Well, move the camera. Yeah. It's the other one. No, the other camera. Uh, the other camera. That one. Move that one. Yeah. yeah, you just have to push it down. <laughs> we got to look at the candle. Um, there you go. That'll work. Oh, where is it? Oh, yeah. There it is. It's just, t- it's just taped to the, the, the table. Uh, well, great. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the well, I'll, I'll, I'll message that person and tell them to call into the show. Right. Um, but that's that's about all I think. Um, you know, it just sounds like things are coming along really well. We got the cook-off. Um... Oh yeah, this is pretty good. They have a cauldron. The witch band apparently has a cauldron. Ooh. So the cook-off is the cook-off. Um, and then the DJ has something about corn cob. So What's I think it sounds like it's going to be a good kind of food-related event almost. So the cook-off. Uh, everybody that comes to the program brings some food that they've cooked and cook your best food and cook. then bring it. Yeah. Oh. You cook your best oh, food. Uh, I might be able to do that. Well, that's what. Well, you better. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna see. Well, it's I I I was talking about this earlier, but it's like maybe it, yeah, I if it ends up like the science fair. You remember the science fair? Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> so it could that's happen fine. like that. But I judge. We'll, we'll see. No one. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Freddie. You got anything else you want to say today? Um. Let's see. No, I think that's that about covers it for me. I'm I'm hey, pretty satisfied. It was oh, the tape talk. thing. Yeah, keep on going through the hour. Have a good time. And then hey, Freddie, we'll, um, I don't know talk what more about this later. Uh, Dan has a question for you. I don't I don't know what kind of science to talk about. I haven't really talked much about science yet. Any suggestions? Uh, let me see. Um, well, I I, I have one. Well, maybe Kristen. Nope. Yeah, hold on. Just How about standard it. deviation? Talk about that. But I'll I'll get the answer off the off the uh, off the phone. But talk about standard deviation. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Bye. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't know much. What's the standard uh, well, deviation? Yeah. What is that? Oh, it's a statistical. It's used in statistics when you're studying large groups of things and you're trying to characterize what is typical and stuff outside the typical. And I think the standard deviation is a percent that you calculate where a certain group of this collection that you've made this statistics out of uh, is not... You, you kind of rule out this excess, it's, uh, if I understand correctly. I don't know much more than that, and I could be off by a little bit, but it's this, this amount of, of, you know, you have a hundred things, and they all have different properties, and statistically, they have, 
uh, statistically, they all have these characteristics in common. Yeah, that's for next time. Yeah. Uh, these characteristics in common, but there there is this exception or there there is a group that don't quite fit in, and that might be the standard deviation, I think. I think. Uh, might be something else completely. So, hey, listen, you viewers, <laughs> if you're watching this and you know what a standard deviation is, uh, you just call us right the hell up and tell us, because I... I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but uh, I never took statistics, and I heard about it. I've heard its use, and I've heard when people talk about it, how they how they use it and how they frame the word, but uh, <clears throat> how it's done and what exactly it represents, uh, I'm a little hazy. I have a science, like modern oh. science thing. Sure. Uh, I heard that they announced that they're going to start trying to send people to Mars. Is that? Or did we talk about that before? Uh, you, did you hear about yeah, that news? Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. What's, what's with that news? With that okay, okay. So, so there's what NASA is doing, and there is what a couple of private billionaires that are very, very involved in these private space companies that are uh, two of them are sending rockets regularly to the space station to resupply the thing and they're getting paid for it and they're making money off the uh, adventure mm -hmm. venture adventure um, what NASA is planning is uh, back in 2000 something 2002 uh, when the last space shuttle it, we only had like two left and they were getting old we'd been using them for 25 years or something um, something like that. A long time. They they were getting rickety, so uh, they decided that they didn't just want to do this resupply thing because the space shuttle uh, took four times longer than they predicted, and it cost uh, four times more to operate than they predicted. So it was more expensive, and it took longer. They didn't get nearly as many missions in as they wanted, and it served a purpose of building a space station. That's that's kind of part of why they designed it. The, the idea is you fly this ship up, it drops off satellites or supplies and slowly builds a space station, and then it glides down, and you slap two more rockets on the bottom and lift it back up and send it back up again as this reusable, uh, you know, a, uh, like a dump truck, sort of. Uh, but it took longer and was more difficult. And now it's like, okay, we got a space station now, and we have r like five different kinds of rockets that are regularly su supplying the space station. So we don't really need a shuttle now anymore. It doesn't. It doesn't serve purposes uh, for helping the space station. What we want to do is we want to eventually either go back to the moon, go visit asteroids, or go to Mars eventually. Mm -hmm. So so what they did is they copied Apollo, the Apollo program, and enhanced it, made everything bigger, more giant. And there's two components. Uh, one is a crew lifter, and the other is an equipment lifter. Mm -hmm. And they use the largest rocket motor. Uh, most of these, uh, the European Unions and the other countries and, and the space shuttle and other rockets, uh, they had four medium-sized rockets this one has like two mega huge ones or one mega or three actually three mega huge ones so they're having fewer engines but the engines are much much more powerful and so the first thing that they want to do is they want to test the crew capsule so they did that it was a it was a great success it worked out great and then they want to uh, send a crewed mission and have it uh, circumnavigate the moon and just go around the moon because mm -hmm. it's made for long durations for uh, up to six dudes or dudesses or whoever six crew to be in it for a month wow at least a month so that's long so it's uh, not much bigger than this room it's probably uh, if we chop the room in half it would have these curved corners and really, they only want to, if they're, the longer your duration, the less room you have. So uh, things get kind of people bumping each other's shoulders. You want to have fewer people. Instead Two more six, questions. Maybe four or three. I guess you're already in space, but you're in a tiny space for, yeah, for a whole yeah. month. Yeah, you really got to not mind farts and BO. 
Is the is this uh, room for five people instead of three in the original Apollo program? Three. It could only fit three in the first one, and it, it was cramped. It was cramped. It, it's. Uh, but uh, I mean, in this current one. Oh, a VW van, one of the old ones, maybe. That's how big their their the, space the was. The original one, yeah. They didn't have much room. Really? For doing, yeah, not right, much room at all. It's like a on cone, cone shape. On Apollo 13, the movie, it seemed like it was bigger than that. Well, think about the last time you were in a VW van. I guess they're right? kind of big, but well, it's like that to, you'd that, that much like volume. Component. Yeah, like squ like square volume because it's a lot longer. Yeah, right? and remember it was a cone shape, and so the three chairs were in the back, and they had all this room in front, and they could lean forward and do the controls and stuff like that. But uh, essentially, it was the kind of the. Uh, 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 well, you said cab. that er everything is bigger. So, is there five people instead of three? Six. It has oh, a six. capacity. It's made to have a capacity of six individuals. Sweet. Wow. And there's a back component. I don't know if they have access to it, or I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the what the plan is, but uh, <clears throat> but uh, it's made for long durations. And so, what they want to do is they want to. Uh, Go to the halfway point between the Earth and the Moon. Okay, doing my telekinesis. Halfway to the Moon, telekinesis. Oh. oh telekinesis failed. Failed. Uh, I lost Carl, big time. Carl, you won. Freddie and Carl won. Way to go. Congratulations. You are now the, f owner, Thank you. the fine owner of 500... No, a thousand points. Why? Why send six people around the thing instead <laughs> of three? Like, what advantage would that have? They just built it so it could have a larger capacity. But it's like, bigger. It's why, physically bigger. Really? Why would you want to send more than one person? Because it's very uh, dangerous. I mean, one person would go crazy and stuff like that. But it's well, one, like one person is like the pilot. The yeah. other person is a scientist. Yeah. Well, Apollo can't you just 13? have robots be the pilot? Well, yeah, we're that advanced. They could. Well, the. Uh, yeah, but we're, we we don't have advanced robots like that to kind of gauge between you know mortality or you know like the importance of a mission to carry out the importance of a mission. Most of the the spaceships that dock with the space station are robots. They do it robotically. Yeah. They're they're programmed. They they know what they're supposed to. So maybe do two maybe two people. Like it seems like six is too many people. Like I don't know. I, like I agree. Yeah, I agree. But it has that capacity. It has that much room. Well, so the idea is, you if you're just going to visit an asteroid, you really only need a couple people, really. Yeah. And uh, you have all kinds of equipment stashed with you. You have more room for equipment in there, and <clears throat> uh, you uh, both put on spacesuits and you. Uh, Suck out the air, you know, grab the air, and then open the hatch, and you can go out and walk on a little asteroid that's, uh, you know, not much bigger than the Capitol Dome. Really? Wouldn't you yeah. fly off of that thing if you jump? Yeah. So you, <laughs> you got to, like, hold on to the... the well, the, well the, I the imagine you have, uh, you have little little mini harpoons that go... Chink. Yeah. Hold yourself on the comet or fly out into space. Yeah, you'd be doomed. Ah, uh, the ship might be able to go and get you. Um, uh, what they also want to do, they want to they want to set up a little station, a little spot, a little place halfway between the the Earth and the Moon. And it's fairly stable. You're you're good for about a hundred years or so. It's fairly stable. And what they want to do is they want to send robots to go grab an asteroid and bring it back and put it in this place. And then they want the people to go and visit it there. Mm -hmm. Because the asteroid may be very, very difficult for people to go get, but uh, we can send a, a robot a year before. It'll catch up with it, latch onto it, and the robot will have ion engines. And they eventually, when they send people to Mars, they, wa they want the ships to have ion engines. Okay. And ion engines deliver a tiny amount of thrust continually. And so the ship itself is slowly accelerating, 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 and going faster and faster and faster and faster. And at the midway point, it flips around, and the ion engines point backwards, and they decelerate instead of accelerate. The accelerate 
they decelerate, they slow down the ship, and it go, uh, slows down more and more and more and more until they're going whatever the right speed and trajectory. And then they have chemical rockets for, you know, you know, that sort of thing. So, so that's what they want to do. So a trip to Mars normally, uh, when the Earth and Mars are at the right position, you need to have already sent your ship up towards it because it, it climbs the gravity well to, to get to Mars. And that trip using conventional rockets will take six months or eight months just Whoa. to get to Mars. And then uh, Mars, uh, the Earth goes around faster than uh, Mars does. Mars takes longer to go around. Uh, and so you have to, the people have to live on Mars for like six or eight months until the Earth is in just the right position. They launch off of Mars and they, and they, uh, they speed up their orbit, I guess, and they catch up to the Earth, and they and they land on it, Whoa. and that's another eight months. And so, so they're out for like over a year. Yeah, but that's using conventional rockets. Let's say it takes. So three the weeks. ion engines are faster than conventional yeah. rockets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they only deliver a tiny amount of thrust, but you just they stay on. Well, for how days. long were they in the thing for the moon? Like a week. Uh, three or four days. Usually a four-day trip there and back. Well. Yeah. So I can't really see any disadvantage though to having six people. Well, how much farther? How much farther is it to the Mars than the Moon? The Moon is in miles. Well, uh, it's not the unit. The AU unit is or something. The AU is one. Earth sun. Oh, Earth sun, distance. not Earth moon. Yeah, ninety-three million miles. Oh, but what about the Earth? What about the what about Earth moon and then the Mars? How many of those is that? Okay, so the Moon is uh three hundred and sixty, three hundred eighty, something like that kilometers, or three hundred eighty thousand, or two hundred fifty thousand kilometer or miles. Okay. It averages about two hundred thirty, uh, or two hundred fifty thousand miles which is uh it takes almost a second for light to to leave the earth and reach the moon and back again and so there was a two second time delay th because it took light that long to get to the moon and back it takes a whole second wow you know it's not the delay isn't artificial it's because uh uh, uh, uh yeah well anyway so mars is 2.5 au away from the sun so okay. it's 93 million miles plus that half of that again, which would be about 45, 6, another 46. So 93 plus 46 is uh, 136, roughly. Okay. So it's 136 million miles away <laughs> at its closest approach to the Earth. And remember when the Earth, because it goes around sooner, the Earth gets farther away. And so it's not just... Uh, you know, one a one and a half AU straight up, it now becomes stretched out, and it becomes two or five or six or eight AU to get there. So that it's a toughie. So so with the ion engines, a uh, couple weeks, and Mars and the Earth will still be close together. They could go to Mars two weeks, a month, and then head back, and it would uh, 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 their trip would take another two weeks to get back wow three weeks to get back at the most it's the end of the show yeah yeah goodbye could everyone done. could be done ion engines baby we made it through another episode of the program without losing consciousness or dying i swear if i win the lottery i'm investing in companies that make ion engines oh yeah and you, solar you power spoke about two countries where what were they for what you know two companies that were they all international? Thanks, or? Freddy. Uh, American SpaceX. Thanks, Kirsten. Uh, thanks, yeah. Dan and Carl. Thanks for being here today. Uh, Virgin Galactic, I think, is another one. And then there's one other. I can't remember the name. But SpaceX is Episode one. number and day, and day of the week. Yeah. Thanks. TCTV. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. 11.30 p.m. and 2 a.m. YDHWM.com. Check it out online. Three six zero eight three six four three eight four. Don't call me. Leave me alone. Crew, you guys want to be on the crew? You want yeah, I want to be in the crew. Can I you, be on the crew? You're on the crew. I'm on the crew. Yeah. Am I on the crew? Yeah, just like that. You're on the UFO, crew. UFO, FBI. <laughs>
TCTV, thank you, Lou. Crystal Ball, La Bebe. Bebe. Jordy E, fabulous. Thurston Bebe. County, Washington Bebe. State, USA, thank you. But what about Bill? Viewers Bill and listeners, that's you, you're watching, thank you. Is there a Bill on the crew, do you know? Probably. Bull Hell yeah, dog. Woof, woof. 